Rocket being tested exploded in South Texas. It sent a ball of fire into the sky at SpaceX's launch site. The company said the Starship experienced a major anomaly during testing. No one was hurt. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk said there was no danger to nearby communities and there was a pressure problem with the nitrogen tank, which led to that explosion. The White House says it will decide in the next two weeks if the U.S. will get involved in the escalating tensions between Iran and Israel. This comes as Iranian missiles slammed into the main hospital in southern Israel today, causing extensive damage. Fox's Mike Tobin reports from Ranwat Gan, Israel. Sound was huge. Huge, huge. I never heard such a sound. The IDF remains on high alert following a direct hit from an Iranian missile attack on the main hospital in southern Israel. It happened in the city of Beersheba. The missiles damaged the hospital and other residential buildings nearby, injuring more than 200 civilians. I heard the big boom. My ears was like bombing. The, the door of the shelter was open. The, the dog ran, ran away. And, uh, and we were in fear. The attack prompted a new direct threat against Iran's supreme leader from top Israeli officials. The IDF has been instructed and knows that in order to achieve all of its goals, this man absolutely should not continue to exist. Meanwhile, as the conflict enters its seventh day, Israel hit Iran's Iraq heavy water reactor as it continues targeting the country's nuclear program. Diplomats from the West are now scrambling to get a ceasefire in place. U.S. Special Envoy Tom Barrack arrived in Lebanon on Wednesday, and Iran's foreign minister announced plans to meet with his European counterparts in Geneva on Friday. But it won't be easy. Iran isn't showing any signs it's willing to give up its nuclear program, meaning the airstrikes aren't likely to stop anytime soon. Israel wants Iran to fully fully renounce its, nu its nuclear program, including the peaceful dimensions of its nuclear program. Um, and that is something that Iran is not likely to do. A senior U.S. official tells Fox News President Trump has been asking his advisors if that bunker-busting bomb would be effective at destroying Iran's underground nuclear capabilities. In Ramak on Israel, Mike Tobin, KTV.